the bartender, give me a drink. I want a cold, wet glass with bubbles in it. And that doesn't mean I can handle anything stronger now. Just a cow, wait a while. Gotta love crisps. Well, that's unusual. <laughs> Outside, Marcella. Outside, Marcella. Didn't know the archer was cursed. Cursed? What? Yes, cursed. It says here it was built on an old Indian burial ground. An old Indian burial ground? Why, yes, an old Indian burial ground. So Native Americans came over here to Runcorn to bury their dead. Strangely enough, why yes? When? Apparently, what happened was this. Before America was discovered, some Native Americans built a boat and sailed to England, bypassing all of Ireland. They docked in Liverpool, caught some form of, I imagine, horse-based transport to Runcorn, jumped off at Canal Street and promptly died. Uh, then they were buried under the archer by a passing, ooh, let's say, dog. Hence, curse. So what is this curse? It sounds really scary. I see, it says here, um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, everyone entering killed by the thing they love the most. Hmm. Yeah, that's about the size of it. So we're up for sneaking in then, finishing off the leftover beer. Oh, come on, one last night in the archer. Killed by what you love the most? But you love me the most. What if I turn around and kill you? Don't be silly. I don't love you the most. Biscuits are my money shot. Come on, what could go wrong? Yeah, all right, John. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All the chops in here are aimed at men. I mean, why can't a woman be the head of the fraction male voice choir? It's a bloody glass ceiling everywhere you look. I'd love to break through that glass ceiling. What's the matter with you? It's Johnny who wants to break into the archer and drink all the leftover stock. That's a great idea. What, did you read about the curse? Native Americans, Donna, you know how scary they are. Ah, yes, the moment I knew I truly loved you was when you soiled yourself watching Pocahontas. Yeah, well, I can't go. Red Indians are just frightening. You've got scalping and wigwams and, and terror hawks. Tomahawks. Where? Well, that'd be stupid. I think we should do it. Come on, guys. Hey! You can shag me in the box like you've always wanted. That was only because I wanted to know what women do for so long in the bathroom. And it's squirt, shake, zip. What are you doing in there, flossing it? <laughs> oh, this'll be ace. I'll get Louise out as well. Oh, she's never going to believe in this case. Donna, it's in the newspaper. It must be true. Look at this. A man from Witness has married a whelk. scared or something. I don't know why I have to be here. I do have other friends, you know. Like who? Oh my god, I'm a social piranha. Come on. It's all bloody dog, we'll never get in. Go on, guys, get the window on. But you do know this is illegal and and a little bit scary. Guys, remember our agreement now. You get the window open so you can, your words, wear my thighs like a necklace. Right, let's do it. OK, go on, now you squeeze it. George, it has to. Come on, you munchkin. You're the only one who's small enough to fit through. I haven't 
felt this undignified since I clumped during my smear. And not through my bottom. Well, I'm not sure about this at all. Well, it'll be brilliant, Janet. I'm going to get so drunk. I'm going to be so sick all over everyone. <laughs> it'll be like a wonderful, mystical fountain. A vomit. Pleasant. <laughs> right, Louise, let us in the side door! It's dark. I can't see anything. Louise, what happened? Look at you, this was a bad idea. Can we please just all go home? Are you okay? There's a ladder in my tights. For God's sake, just let us in the side door. We'll report you to the lollipop guild. Ah, oh, this is the best idea I've ever had. Hey, you're not wrong there, matey. Come on, this is going to be so brilliant. Yeah. Some music. Oh, someone's got the plug off. <gasps> I've got a bad feeling about this. Something's wrong. <gasps> oh, just as I thought. Lipstick on my teeth. All better now. Johnny, where's the booze? Oh, there isn't any. And where's the free nuts? I was expecting free nuts. I want my free nuts. What kind of fresh hell is this? Are we on a boat? You don't think that curse is real, do you? No, no, no. Of course not. I mean, how could it be? Here's Johnny. Get out of the I'm joking, you knobhead. Johnny, don't do that. <laughs> Johnny, this place just doesn't feel right to me. Don't be so bloody ridiculous, Janet. Nobody's going to die of anything. Anyway, you know the rules. The black one always dies first. And nobody hears black. <laughs> For the pragmatic sort of person with a great deal of self-awareness, this curse nonsense is just utterly stupid. As if you can be killed by the thing you love. It's absolutely asinine. I mean, look at me. I don't particularly love anything. Well... I suppose I love myself, but I'm hardly likely to commit suicide, am I? And, and why, why would you be sawing your own leg off, Louise? Oh, bother. Would you look at that? I've really snagged my tights now. Does anyone have any clear nail varnish? What did you do? What the hell did you do? Not entirely sure. I believe, though, that I was... Trying to saw through my thigh. I'll, I'll find an ambulance. Oh, shit. Are you okay? I'm okay. It's just a leg. I was never very fond of that one anyway. Has been humped on more than one occasion. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. The phone's not working. Can't help her. She's really bleeding. Calm down. It's just a scratch. She's not gone all the way through. She'll be okay. Look, Louise, you're fine, aren't you? I think I'll be. Oh. Hey, oh, that's on it. Oh, God, what is she doing? She's just having a laugh. Look, it's Louise. She's mental. Let's go. Johnny, take me home. Let's go, let's just leave. Here, move, guys. Come Louise. Mrs. Ben Sherman, she's bleeding. Just do it, guys. Hold on, what about our night together? Our last night in the archer? She's just messing about. Louise, you didn't really... Right. Let's go! Yeah, come on. Get out! Get out! I think we may have to consider the possibility that this curse actually exists. Hey, I've never noticed this trapdoor before. No, neither have I. Yeah, because that's the weirdest thing that's happened tonight. Look, there's got to be another way out. I'm going to go and look for one. Not on your own, you know. Thanks, guys. You know what? I do my best to stay brave. 
for my friends and as a woman, but sometimes I just need some support and I, I'm really grateful for having you in my life. Thanks, Donna. Johnny, go with her. I'm not leaving Janet. Fine, it's always Muggins here who has to do everything. Gas! Sorry. Well, there's, a, there's a skylight in the gents. We could try that, eh? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. What's going on? She's still breathing, she's still alive! What? Louise? Louise, can you hear us? Oh shit! Yeah? Oh shit, shit! Janet, you, you realise this isn't actually a zombie curse? She was just, you know, still alive. I killed her. You're a murderer! I know! <laughs> but, well, how much did we actually like her anyway? Well, that's true. I've just thought, you know what that means, Johnny? Yeah, you're a psychopath. Yes, but also, it means that she loved me the most in all the world. That was so incredibly sweet. I'm so touched by that. If you think about it, the whole killing Louise thing, I mean, it wasn't really my fault, because... Let it go since it closed the portal, but... Yeah, if you like. Now, look, Donna, I know we're in a desperate situation, right? And we're both incredibly horny, but... I'm so not. What's the whole point of coming here? To do it in the gents? And look, how erotic it is. Suffice to say, Gaz, this is the last place on Earth where I would want to have sex with you. Now how are we going to get that skylight open? <sighs> no, I'm not going to restart that. Anybody with any level of spatial awareness could see that you're not going to reach it that way. Well, I don't know, do I? I thought with all the other weird shit happening, I might have bionic legs. Uh, come here, let me get on your shoulders. That's a better idea. Look, Donna, right, if this doesn't work and we don't get out of here, yeah. I need to tell you I love you. Shh. Curse might hear you. <clears throat> Look, there's no way you'd ever kill me, Donna. It just isn't, I trust you. Can we agree not to love each other until we've got out of here? In fact, do the opposite of love. Do hate. I'll do the same for you. <laughs> Oh, it's not good. Oh, no, I can't reach. I'll have to stand. Do what you need to, you stupid asshole. What? I'm trying not to love you. Well, that's sweet. You obnoxious dickhead. Wow. I've got it! See, Donna? Finally breaking through that glass ceiling you're always banging on about. Friggin' munter. It's open! You want to save the window liquor? Brilliant! Well done, you fishy piss flap. Now, just pull yourself through and get help. That's it! Go on! Just pull yourself through! I am doing. Did you just spit on me? I know we're not meant to be loving each other, but that's just taking a piss. We're going to be okay, aren't we, Johnny? I mean, me and you could never kill each other. All we have to do is sit it out till dawn. That's when the curse is lifted. I didn't know that. Yeah. Apparently the Native Americans specified how transient the curse was. Although they may have said, how the curse is transient. <gasps> what was that? Oh, that was me. I'm starving. How can you be hungry? Do you reckon Louise would mind if we took a chunk out of her? Johnny! <laughs> Donna's dead! She's died! She's in there dead! Oh, no! Why? What, what killed her? She, she, she finally broke through that glass ceiling and... No oh, bollocks, we should have seen that coming! <laughs> All right, look, look, keep calm. From now on, none of us can afford to love anything at all. Set emotions to hate. I love you! I love you! Oh, yeah, great, yeah, you two have got each other. What have I got? Hey, Donna's dead! All that's left are her legs! The gorgeous, sexy legs the only one thing that never failed to turn me on. What am I going to do, eh? In a gents' toilets with a fit pair of legs? With no one watching, eh? No, no one there to comfort me except myself? I'll be back in a bit. Now, 
about your idea for eating Louise. Johnny, that was your idea! Uh, Janet, we can stand around all night discussing whose idea it was to feast on Louise's corpse, but where would that get us? The crux of the matter is, we've decided to eat her. We are not eating my friends! I'll check in my bag. There must be something in there. Well, if there isn't anything, there's always your excellent idea for eating Louise. Oh. Look, check behind the bar. Maybe there's some nut or crystals in there. Is this a dodger I see before me? Oh, you little tease. You want me to follow you? Okay. Johnny? Johnny! Johnny! Dad? Dad? Johnny, you're alive! Where are you? I'm in the first cubicle, the one with all the alcohol-soaked homoerotic paraphernalia. Very more sweet. <laughs> you look fairly poorly. Don't be like that, guys. Don't you find me attractive anymore? To me, you never look more beautiful. I thought you thought you were dead. I thought I'd never see you again. I'll never leave you, guys. Not when we have such a romantic task to complete together. What do you mean? You were right. We should consummate our love in a gentleman's lavatory. It's all I want to do, isn't it obvious? I'd have to say not really. You're completely lacking a vagina for one thing. And there's no way I'm going to slip it in that mess at all, so it'd be like Shaggy and Mince. Don't be silly, Gaz. All you need is right next door. If you really love me, you'd do it. Can I just, like, you know... No. It's got to be this way. Aha. Thought you could escape me, you saucy little minx. <laughs> Stupid. I know you were sent to kill me, but I can't not eat you. You're a dodger. You wouldn't hurt me. Get off me! Ah! Kelly? Kelly, what happened? Do it, guys. Do it for me. You know you want to. Pretty please. If that's what you want. What are you waiting for? Go on. Can't do it. Yes, you can. I can't, it's necrophilia. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yes, you are. I'm not, because I don't believe this is really you, Donna. I mean, the big clue is the fact that you're in two separate pieces and yet you're encouraging me to have sex with you. That strikes me as a little odd. <laughs> 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 Sorry to bother you. 
Now that, to some, could have looked like a warning. Oh no, you don't. I have reached my mecca. Sod you, normal sized dodger! There's no getting rid of me, Jammy D. I'd follow you to hell and back. If you kill me, I will feel only gratitude for the time we spent together. You all right? Not like you've seen a ghost. No, you haven't turned into a biscuit. Ah, oh, thank God. It was all a dream. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> 